If you want to learn about measles, also known as rubeola, antibody titer testing, you have come to the right place. We are titer test experts. Let's review a few Accessa Lab sample reports to help you learn how to interpret the measles titer results. Most schools and workplaces want to see a quantitative or numerical result, which can be found under the result header on the sample report. You can find the numerical result here. This sample report has a result of 3.30. And based on Quest Diagnostics result index shown here, any result greater than or equal to 1.10 is positive, which implies that a person with this result has immunity to the measles virus. Therefore, this sample report represents a positive result. Now let's take a look at a negative result. Once again, we will look for the numerical result under the result heading here. This report has a result of less than or equal to 0 0.90. You might also notice the abnormal notation under the flag header. Based on Quest Diagnostics result index shown here, any result less than or equal to 0 0.90 is negative, which implies that a person with this result does not have immunity to the measles virus. Therefore, this sample report represents a negative result. Lastly, we'll look at an equivocal result. Once again, we look for the numerical result under the result heading. You can find it here. This report has a result of 1.07, and it has a low notation under the flag column. Based on Quest Diagnostics result index shown here, any result between 0.91 and 1.09 is equivocal, which means that the result is neither negative or positive. A negative or equivocal result for the measles titer suggests that vaccination is recommended for immunity based on CDC guidelines. You can learn more about those at the CDC website. Please follow up on personal results with your medical provider. If you have additional questions, please call us at 888-946-9522 or email us at help at Thanks for your interest and have a great day.